Welcome to Med in 5 channel. The topic in discuss is about RNA polymerase enzyme. Polymerase elongates with one ribonucleotide into the RNA strand from 5' prime to 3' prime, during the RNA synthesis. Notice the picture. Here it is a piece of RNA strand. The 5' prime is near the phosphate group, while the 3' prime is near the hydroxy group. The strand in the picture has only one ribonucleotide, guanine. An ADP enter the reaction, under polymerase effect, and creates a phosphodiester bond between guanine and adenine. Now the RNA strand has one ribonucleotide more. The formula for this reaction will be, RNA with a specific number of ribonucleotides, plus a ribonucleotide triphosphate, will give a RNA with one ribonucleotide more an inorganic pyrophosphate. There are some criteria for RNA polymerase to function. The polymerase uses double or single strand DNA as a sample. The synthesis needs the presence of four ribonucleotides, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil 3-phosphate ribonucleotides. The synthesis occurs in the direction 5' prime to 3' prime end. Notice the difference. RNA polymerase doesn't need a primer, while DNA polymerase does. Well, there are three types of polymerase, all located in nucleus of the cell. The first type synthesizes, the ribosomal RNA. The second type synthesizes, the mature RNA, and the third one synthesizes, ribosomal RNA and transporter RNA. That was a brief summary of the topic, from Med in 5 team. Thanks for watching. For other videos like this, please click subscribe.